Hello everyone and wel welcome to the wisdom of the scales. <laughs> so we have today another gem of a scale. I'm calling it a gem. It's not an easy one. <laughs> um, and it's called G sharp major. This G sharp major has five sharps and is the relative of B major. So as I'm playing B major, as I would like you to check into the other video as I did it with B major. All these five keys, you know, five um, black keys, they are sharps. F, C, G, D, A, right? This order, F, C, G, D, A sharp. So this is the B major. Three half steps down, one, two, three, we will have the G sharp minor, okay? So that would be, and as you know, we have in three kinds, G sharp minor natural, G sharp minor harmonic, and G sharp minor melodic, all right? So obviously we're gonna start with a G sharp minor natural, okay? So this is how you play it. G sharp A, sharp B, C, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, right? So what did I did? I practically played them all, but B and E, they are natural. So in this case, you're not thinking anymore the sharps. You're just thinking they're all black keys, but E and B, they're gonna be white keys. So remember, so I'm not thinking right now. So you gotta think opposite. It's not like into the beginning when we learn the sharp and it's like learn the F sharp for G major, learn the F and C. You know, right now, because we're getting almost to the end of our circle, we're thinking opposite. Which one is not sh uh, sharp? And those that they are not sharps are E and B. So, let's go. G sharp, A sharp, B natural, sharp, sharp, natural. Especially when you're 
when you're going down, it's very easy to do it because I'm actually not thinking of anything. I'm only thinking E and B and place number one after you finish the with the after each black key that you finish out of the you know pattern e here e here it's the pattern you know i told you in the other video you know it's very easy to understand that it's three here and then four here it cannot be differently <laughs> because it's a short distance and then big distance and then right you cannot have three here because then you get stuck with number one right on the black key and that's not fun at all right <laughs> i'm gonna put it together So the F sharp right now, it will not be played. G sharp, A sharp, B, C sharp, B sharp, E. It's going to be a double F sharp. Oh, we're getting into like, oh my God. If you don't know right i'm just playing i'm just showing you how to play but if you really want to know so we regular we have the f sharp and then we need to raise it half step so this would be a double sharp so it actually it is a g so this is f this is f sharp this is f double sharp right like this would be c this would be c sharp and then you know this would be uh c double sharp or d so why we're not calling a g it's because i said into the first first video this is what i meant when i uh, um, um when i explained it to you the first video we need to name all the keys once so if I would do G sharp, A sharp, B, C sharp, D sharp, E, and then I will do G, then I would name it twice. G, G sharp, right? And that's not a scale, even though it's the same key, but I cannot do this because it's the, it's the rule, it's the principles of the scales. So we name it F double sharp. Without further ado, I'm gonna do F M. Uh, sorry. Right? way 
So we're gonna have uh, two keys, E sharp and F double sharp here. <laughs> so it's gonna go like that. like that the good news though g sharp minor it's exactly and exactly the same played and but named different with a flat minor that a flat mi minor guess what has seven flats how fun is that <laughs> right so while you learning the g sharp minor that it's a pain Ah, I said it, ah, <laughs> right? Just go very slow, you know. You know my recommendation, right hand only, left hand only, one octave, both hands one octave, stay, stay a while, then learn the right hand two octaves, learn the left hand two octaves, just practice separate, put it both together, going up only, up only for a while, I don't know how long is the while, and then going down, only for a while you know and then up and down oh i said it all all right uh, but then you practically you do know the a flat mi uh, minor that is um uh, seven flats a flat b flat c flat d flat e flat oh i can't even say it. uh e flat uh, f flat uh, g flat a flat it's exactly the same but named with the flats all right so i hope you enjoy it <laughs> this video i know it's becoming a little hard dish so definitely if you are a beginner don't do it or just do it one hand at a time and just only one octave you don't even need to put it together uh, but I'm going to go and I promised myself that I'm going to do all the scales. So guess which one it's coming. It's coming six sharp, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And that would be F sharp major has six sharps. And then with a relative that is D sharp minor. Okay. So I hope you enjoy it as much as you could. <laughs> and thank you so much for watching. Please hit subscribe, the bell button to be notified of all the beauty that I'm gonna do it this year. I'm planning to do a lot of Disney, a lot of classical songs. I will perform a lot of Chopin and i'm gonna i'm gonna do tutorials on chopin so it's gonna be a big year for loading uh into the uh into the youtube okay so thank you so much and please comment and see you in the next video i hope you enjoy our tutorials and my performances music academy international it's a non-profit foundation its goal is to provide financial support for talented pianists to study with international teachers. Please consider to become part of our Patreon family. Link below. By subscribing, five ten dollars a month will really go long way. All our family, friends, and students. Uh, they do have access to our private channel called Master Piano Live with Liana and where I am uh, holding a live seminar once a month. Thank you so much and God bless you.